find shaping a world that's in your mind. See for yourself and walk Hello with me. everyone, welcome to another episode of Fear of Mobs. It seems like the uh, villagers have really taken um, taken to these farms here. Uh, I only like planted like half of these things and they've finished the rest. Although they are mixing types up. We have some potatoes here and we have some carrots here. No doubt some wheat somewhere in here. I guess if I just... Well, actually, you know what? I don't see any wheat at all. Now I see carrots and potatoes. And more carrots. And not even... Oh, yeah, and some potatoes. I don't see any wheat. Huh. Interesting. That's weird. Well, they're still trading bread, so... Uh, anyway, welcome to another episode of Fear of Mobs. Um, the villagers, and with their new AI, are starting to spread out to other places. Uh, they've occupied all of the homes over there, and uh, they've actually moved in over here, and uh, I think there might even be one or two in here. Yeah, see? So it's, oh hey, there's even a guy way over there, way over there, so come nighttime, he's going to be rushing for one of these houses, so I like how they're a lot more, uh, how they explore a little more. I think that's kind of great, especially for the safe, closed environment here. This is a butcher here. Trades for some pretty cool things. Meh, meh. Um, I really like the new trading system. I've been taking advantage of it, and not in like the exploitative kind of way. I've been legitimately trading and going by the rules that are here. Um, and it's actually, uh, I like the new trading system a lot. Uh, let me show you why. Um, I have been trading zombie flesh. Lots of zombie flesh. Yeah, you can't pick up the stuff they drop for like a long time. It has a very long uh, pickup cooldown thingy. And I have lots of emeralds. Oh man. Uh, these are not cheatsy emeralds. I've been uh, trading off all of the rotten flesh I have downstairs. And uh, trading them with these clerics here. Don't you run away. Get over here! Yeah. He knows I'm going to take his emeralds. Um, these clerics here. Apparently you can trade them stuff. Rotten flesh and get emeralds. And it's pretty great. It's, it's a lot of rotten flesh, but it's rotten flesh. I have a lot of it. And uh, in return, you can get these kind of things. I've been stacking up on glowstone from them. And the other cleric I have here, I unlocked his rotten flesh trade as well. And he has uh, experience bottles. Bottles of enchanting for sale. Like four for one emerald, which is pretty, pretty awesome. So I've been doing that a lot as well. Although I've also been using them a lot. Here you are. Yeah, here we are. Right here. So it's pretty great. Um... Let's see here. So there was something else I wanted to show you about these villagers. Where are they like? You guys are letting bread despawn. Ah, I wish you could pick this up after like ten seconds, but it's you know. Ugh. You can eventually pick up the bread. It just takes a long time, and usually it despawns before then. Like, I still can't pick this up. All right, you get over here. You ugh. librarians can enchant books for me. Uh, this one's got a really awful one. Protection 3 for 41 emeralds. Um, uh, written books for emeralds. Thorns 2 for 9 emeralds. Ah, that's uh, Thorns! First thorns, it's awesome. This one's for fire protection. Name, name tags. They finally have name tags for sale, which is awesome. I'm going to get one of those in a moment here. Probably going to name my horse. And uh, I'm looking for the other emerald, uh, emeralds. <laughs> always, always have emeralds on the brain. You get over here. <sighs> pretty sure this is a new one. Yeah, he's got respiration one. Pretty lame. Uh, he's got another good one though. Hang on. Knockback two. Okay, I lied. There's a third. Here you are. You. Or it might be the guy over there. Whoops. Go back. Silk touch one for seven. It's an amazing trade. And, uh, sharpness too, lame. Oh, here's a great one. See this? 19 emeralds? Take a wild guess. Thor, oh. Never mind, respiration three. <laughs> Name tag. Okay, so apparently I have four librarians. I did not know that. All right, there's bread everywhere. Guys, stop wasting the bread. They're such poor aims, you know? Feather falling three for a ridiculous amount of emeralds. And thorns three. Thorns 3, you guys. Yeah. So, I used emeralds and bought a bunch of Thorns 3 books, and I'll show you where I put them. And he also has a name tag, which I do want to get a name tag. So I'm going to grab some emeralds, 
and we are going to make that trade. And I'm going to name my horse. Now, I have an issue with my horse. Um, when I'm in this area here and I'm working with the villagers or trading with them or whatever, this guy wanders, and I tell ya, he goes everywhere. It's nice to see the golems getting around too, that's great. Although they're always in pairs, I wish they would split up. Uh, it does no good to have one over there and three over here. Um, yeah, he wanders, like, he's been, like, all the way over down by the reeds, he's been all the way, all the way down there, he just goes all over the place, and I'm gonna lose him one of these days, so I need to build a place to keep my horse, and I can't use a lead, because he keeps breaking it, which makes no sense, but he does. So, oh, hey, hey, whoa, hey, zombies, da 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 hey, oh, I am out of arrows. Get that! Horseback. Horseback DEA is nothing to mess with. Seriously, where are my arrows? Oh well. Uh, he won't do any problem. He won't cause any trouble. Let's build. I need to build a corral. And I think I might call it a corral, but I think I might have a better name for it later on. We're going to build it right, right in this area here. So let me get rid of this torch. Because it is redundant for what we're going to do. Get out of here. All right, to line up with these torches here. Let me just start building. There we go. Oh, I also enchanted the my shovel. It has efficiency five now. In addition to unbreaking three, I combined it with an almost broken shovel, and uh, I renamed it to the particle distributor. It probably would have been more correct to call it the particle redistributor, or something. But I like it. Don't go anywhere. All right, so first we dig out a five by five area. Now again, this is a system for automatically containing horses and other people have built things similar to it. Some have gone the route of redstone and, uh, and uh, sorry, redstone, pistons, trip wires, that sort of thing in order to detect when a player uh, rides in and then it like toggles some redstone and yada yada yada, you know the rest. But that is not what I want to do here. I would like to build something that's a little more elegant. Now, I do recognize that what I'm going to build is probably going to break sometime in the future because it's not based on redstone. Redstone is usually pretty dependable, um, but using this trick that I'm going to use, actually two tricks I'm going to use, uh, might not survive through uh, the changes Minecraft's gonna undergo. Anyway, let me just uh, throw down a... Don't need to put a torch. No torches. Okay, so after we've uh, cut out a 5x5 five five area here, you dig a th uh, three block deep trench on the sides. I decided to also trim down this 3x3 three three pillar uh, down a block, because on top of it, I'm going to store something... Oh, here they are. Hey, Bales. I thought I forgot them. Hey, Bales. And both for this is uh, both for color and... Well, it's a horse. It's got to have hay bales, right? All right, next we're going to put in string, right? No. Dang it. Okay, hang on. Here we go. Anyway, we're going to put string all around the edges, just like this. There we go. All right. Now this trick I saw in a YouTube video. Oh, you don't need this one. Very good. All right, you put down carpet on top of the strings, leaving the corners open. In fact, you don't even need string in the corners, and you don't even need to dig them out. I don't know why I did. I, I just did. Next, you're gonna need some dark wood. So put the dark wood on top of the string, or if you didn't dig it out, on top of whatever block is still there. Okay put down the wood. It doesn't have to be dark oak. It could be really any decorative block. I'm going to put in glowstone next for the sake of lighting and decoration. There we go, just like that. Next we're going to put trap doors on the glowstone. Now this is actually critical to the design. It's got to be trap doors uh, and this space here can be no more than three blocks wide. 
and can be no less than two blocks wide. So you gotta make sure you put trapdoors on at least these two inside spots right here. Some of you are probably realizing what's happening. And as soon as I finish putting these trapdoors in, I'm putting the trapdoors on all four sides for decoration. But as soon as I'm done doing that, I'm gonna go grab my horse. Right, where is he? See, this is what I'm talking about. He goes everywhere, and I don't know where he is. You. All right, so all you got to do, ride the horse in, get off, walk away. He will stay there. As far as I can tell, I've tested it a few times. It looks like he's not going to move. All right, so according to Minecraft's artificial intelligence, our horse is now trapped inside a small area. And we can use this to our advantage. Just head over here. Boop. All right, so now just for decoration, I'm gonna throw down some leaves. Two leaves, two leaves, and we'll just do that. All right, and then I'm gonna kinda build this part and then I'll get back to you in a second. All right, there we go. Just check, make sure the coast is clear, sorry. <clears throat> this is the horse canopy. So I'll explain really quick what it does. Keeps a horse contained. This horse has not moved out of this little area since I stopped, uh, or since I put him here. So the canopy, decoration, uh, keep the horse dry, you know, from rain, I guess, if you want to say that. Um, I think it looks nice. Uh, these here are the main functional parts, these trap doors. What they do is, according to Minecraft's AI, for pretty much every mob I can tell so far, every mob sees these trap doors, whether they're opened or closed. I'm opening them for visualization. What did you just do? You just ruined everything. Get in there, you monster. Let me try this again. Okay, so don't open the trap doors. I think that's what's uh, screwing this over. It's not open the trap doors. Okay, mobs see these trap doors as full blocks. They just do. I don't know why. I don't care. They just. You better see this as a full block, or I'm going to be made a liar here. Okay, so he should not be walking through here because he thinks these trap doors are full blocks and they're in his way. So imagine if a dirt block there and a dirt block there, he couldn't walk through there because it would only be a one block gap. Okay, over here, uh, these carpets. The reason I put carpet on top of string on top of a pit is so that other creatures like NPC villagers, creepers, zombies, skeletons, um, maybe spiders, I think spiders will still walk through, uh, so that these creatures do not attempt to walk through here because they see the pit down beneath here and they're like, oh, nope, 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 nope. Um, but uh, if they see, but um, anyway, yeah, so they, they won't walk over here and they won't accidentally push the horse out and he won't be free. Gosh, man, okay. Yeah, leave the trap doors closed. I think that's what was messing everything up. All right, I'm gonna go prepare for the next part because we are going to take a trip deep into the bowels of the planet. See you there. Shut up. Okay, now you're just making a fool of yourself. Get, get out of here, get out of here. Okay, so I forgot the name tag part. I went and bought a name tag from one of these gentlemen. Uh, this one, in fact, 22 emeralds. Hey, knock it off. And uh, I forgot to name the horse. Now I haven't renamed the the uh, this name tag yet, so I'm gonna wait, save that for you guys. I can't think of a good name, so I'll tell you what. If you leave a comment down below of a name that you think I should name the horse, I'll uh, I'll I'll pick the best one uh, and use it. And uh, normally I have a clause in these sort of things where I say, if I like one, I will pick it. But this time. I am not going to put that clause on there. I guess what I'm saying is, if one person comments and they name him Poopy, then I'm going to do it. Because, uh, you know, that's just... Basically, leave a comment and I just might pick yours. Uh, I'll pick the one I like the best. 
If there are none, then I will be severely disappointed. Okay. Uh, all right. What are we going to do next? Oh, yeah. Um, nether. All right. Bye. Oh, that's right. I forgot to, to mention. Um, so I went to the nether fortress for like three hours? Two or three hours yesterday. And I... Uh, the nether fortress I'm talking about is the one over by the savannah. And I found chests. And inside those chests were was horse armor. Which is amazing. Um, so I found two golden horse armors and uh, two iron horse armors. Uh, I also managed to get one wither skeleton skull. Like I said, I was there for three hours. <sighs> anyway, I used up. Uh, I used some of the light set. I renamed the Sword of Light, Sword Lightbringer, and Light Sender to Bow of Light and Sword of Light, uh, just to kind of tie in everything. Uh, I also added a Fire Aspect two to the sword, which act, works very well. If the original. Uh, the only thing that can really set me on fire are zombies, and if I hit a zombie with it, uh, the Smite 5 should kill it, and if it doesn't, the fire will finish it off. Alright, let's see. Oh yeah, look at that, you look so regal! Such a good horsey! I do want to build one of those horse, um, things, whatever, horse, uh, crap, I forgot the name already, horse canopies, here. Uh, like one for each of these horses, and th there's enough room for them. They don't have to have the decorative top, they just need to have the two trap doors. Okay, so, uh. Oh, that's right, light bringer. So I was going to get the armor set and put this garbage off. Get off me. Get off my body. This stuff works very well. Also, notice thorns three on everything. I bought that, um, enchantment. From the bow of light, sword of light, diamond sword bow. Okay, uh, yeah, I bought the uh, books from that villager, and I must say, they're they're all right. <laughs> it, it's okay. It's um really more of a novelty rather than something that's actually you know useful and practical, but not a big deal. Uh, oh, I also found three diamonds, five gold, two iron. I found um. Actually, I had two wither skeleton skulls, but I accidentally uh, lost the other one. Just out of just, I looked down on my hotbar and it was gone. So when I found this one, I hit it, put it up in the corner of my inventory, so I didn't accidentally throw it. All right, it's time. Okay, so here we are in the Nether. I am on the Nether Fortress. Uh, this is the same one that I think we visited a couple episodes ago. There's a very long walkway back to uh, the Nether Hub, and it's time that we start getting some Wither Skulls. Now I've been farming for Wither Skeletons here at this um, fortress for a while. There's a large network of uh, of um, pathways and stuff over here. But before we head over that way, I want to do some preparation. Now I wasn't very successful the last time because well, for a couple reasons. It was hard to find the skulls, uh, or skulls. It was hard to find the withers, wither skeletons to kill. And the other problem was I was always being, like, hampered because of all the other creatures. There were regular skeletons, and there were blazes, and there were magma cubes, and all of those were really obnoxiously annoying. So what we're going to do is spend some time and fix this place up and make it ready for, uh... Well, to be tamed, basically. I want to tame this place. So, uh, we're fortunate that there are no ghasts here right now. So I'm going to take this opportunity to start laying down a cobblestone foundation because we're going to build a miniature shack, a little base out here, an outpost, if you will. Although not, I don't think this would classify as an outpost in my book. All right, so let's get to it. All right, yeah, this is uh, this is pretty legit. Oh, whoops. It's kind of like a jail cell, to be honest, but I think it'll do nicely. I can look out. Oh, fail. Well, whatever. No big deal. Okay, so I can come out here. I need to put some railing there and come through here. Yep, and then there's the fortress. 
Awesome. Um, I might move this portal a little bit closer so I don't have to like hope there's nothing on the other side of it when I go through. But uh, okay, enough of that. Actually, we do need to go through the portal real quick because I need to get. Uh, let's get twelve bottles of water because I can't get water here in the Nether. So this portal is gonna be very handy for that. And there it might be nighttime. I don't know. Nope, it's day. Coast is clear. Hey, horses. Um, we're missing a horse. Oh yeah, he's over. Ugh, scared me. Get back through the portal. Okay. Okay. In we go. You get back here. Oh. Oh well. There we go. So, um, what was I saying? Oh yeah, the other horse is over at the Mesa. Awesome. Okay, so, we got water bottles. Because we're going to make some potions. And I saw a really cool trick of a potion you can make to let you see way better when you're here in the nether. I brought three of these. Perfect. And... I can, I can count. Yeah, I can do that. I know that thing. There we go. So we'll put down some full blocks there. We'll craft a few of these. Brewing stands. Just like so. Okay, we need nether rack. Wart, nether wart. Uh, I have 12, right? Let's only make nine of what I'm going to make. We're going to make some... I brought some golden carrots. We're going to make some potions of seeing stuff. <laughs> I don't remember what they're called. Night vision? So handy in the nether. Like, it's amazing. In fact, let's just do that now. Oh, crap. Okay, good. Uh, don't put waters in there yet. Alright, so... I'm going to brew a few potions, and... We're gonna get started formatting this place. Or refurbishing. What's the word? I have it in the title. I don't remember what it is. I always forget it. Well, it's uh whatever that word is. Let's do it. Alright guys. Are you ready to see the nether for what it really is? Wow. <laughs> Very red. So red. Much wow. Alrighty then, let us, uh, or let us, I don't even know, I, I salad's alright I guess. <laughs> okay, we are going to change this place, we're going to make a few changes around here, and I'm going to get my way, alright. Um, basically, we're going to tear down whatever is not necessary, we are going to basically rebuild, restructure this fortress so that it is ideal for farming withers, and I'm going to do that right now. So sit back, relax, and enjoy the music.
All right, I've been at this for probably about an hour, and uh, I think that's. I'm gonna kind of like put a pin on this for now. Uh, I'll, I'll I'll definitely do more of this off camera. It's it's a lot of fun. Believe it or not, it's actually a lot of fun. Like seeing this place become more manageable, you know, more walkable. Um, so I watched a YouTube video on how to do this. That's why I'm just going at it here. Uh, these intersections here, basically the idea is you want to remove places they can't build or they can't spawn and try to like flatten everything out so you can see great distances and uh, place blocks where you know that they can spawn. Hey, that is not cool. Tell you what, when that screen starts flashing, you start to panic. Like, oh, I'm about to be vulnerable! No. Ah. Getting a little bit of lag spike now, but... But, uh, hey, big man. What's up? Yeah, so different different features of the fortress have different, um... Different spawning areas. These intersections have this huge, like, 18 or... I'm sorry, like, 19 by 19 area that they can spawn in. So you get to fill it in all in with blocks here, and then you get spawned. So that's basically what I'm doing. I have to widen all the pathways by one block. Uh, I do want to put in fences uh, along the edges here, kind of like the style of the, t the tutorial video I saw. It was just they're so practical, and it looks great, kind of like this. See? So this way, nothing can fall off. Not you, not the skeleton, not the skulls. And uh, it actually looks, you know, the style looks pretty neat. Yeah, I like that. I like that style. Uh, kind of makes you feel like you're caged in. You're not going to fall off anytime soon. But uh, I have to get more nether brick, so I have to tear down these buildings here and uh, flatten everything out, and then we'll be good to go. Now, if I really wanted to, which I don't think I will, but if I really wanted to, I could add multiple layers to these things. So I could like add like another layer above, maybe even another layer. I, I don't know. I don't know exactly how that works. But anyway, I think that's gonna wrap up. Well, actually, no. I don't think our episode's quite done yet. Let me check. Hang on. It's working! Slowly, but it's working! Still lots of work to do. Like I said, I'm going to do a lot of this off-camera. We still got a few minutes left in today's episode, so I am going to conquer one of these bad boys, which shouldn't be too difficult, but... Well, let's see. Stop shooting me, you're wearing down my armor! There we go. Okay, so the only way to conquer the... What the... Did I break that? Dang it. Okay, the only way to conquer these things is you need to basically fill in every space they can spawn. So I'm just going to do netherrack since it's the cheapest. So they can spawn up to eight blocks around it where... Let's find where the... Thank you. Okay, so... Let me see here. So reading the X and Y coordinates here, trying to find out where the... Okay, so here and this corner. All right, so this corner right here is the center of an 8x8 eight eight region. So four blocks that way and four blocks this way. So one, two, three, four. Boom. All right, so now we'll just go up. I think one more block will do it, but maybe two. I don't remember. I've done this before. It's just been a while. So you just kind of... Fill her in. Kind of. I am in a. What am I doing? There we go. Oh no, no! I want these fences. What am I doing? I want. Night, <sighs> nine. Tell you what, that sound they make—the the heavy breathing and the flare firing. Oh, it's freaky. Especially. I mean, I know I have fire protection, but still, <laughs> it's like I'm gonna get set on fire. Oh man. Stab it. You can't light this thing up, unfortunately. It's just. just. you can't do it. Okay, so yeah, I want to turn this one in particular into a trap, actually. This is why I'm doing this. Um, I don't have a blaze trap. I, would, I wouldn't mind switching over to using. blaze rod. Man, I'm sorry, I'm getting these lag spikes, and they're not just on the video. They're annoying me, too. 
sorry for them. Um, I don't know what's causing them. I don't know what's causing them. That should do it. Uh, there might be like a corner over there that they can still spawn in, but another time. Uh, yeah, so um, I want to turn this into a blaze farm. Wouldn't mind using blaze rods as a fuel source. Still have to figure out how to do that, though. I don't know how to make a blaze trap. I haven't done it before. And I'm going to destroy pretty much every other blaze spawner in this fortress, because none of the others are in really good places, and there are no two spawners close enough together to warrant a farm. Alright, I am going to uh, restart my recording. This is bad. Okay, wow, this is really bad. So I'm getting a really bad performance hit. So, rather than try to kill... Wow, hey! <gasps> Wither Skull! Oh my gosh, we have three! Oh my gosh! Ah! This is amazing! <laughs> okay, I better not die with this one. This is my third skull. This is what I need. Okay, what I was saying was, I'm, my computer's getting some really bad performance issues. Well, now it seems to have evened out. Um, so, uh, I'm just going to... Uh, rather than try to fill in try to figure out what to do and try to fill in like a random air time. I'm going to kill the skeleton and then we're going to end today's episode. I know it might be a bit... Oh my god, another one. Oh my gosh. This is amazing. Oh, I've... this is amazing. We have four Wither Skeleton Skulls. Oh, I've gotten more in the past hour and a half than I have in like three hours yesterday. It's beautiful. I've got three today alone. Oh, it's so amazing. You are a jerk. I missed. It used to be the... Oh my goodness! Did you see those jukes? Them jukes! My goodness, I'm trying to hit the thing to reflect back at him. But screw it. Screw it. We're going at it. Leroy! Leroy! I can't. Where'd he go? He's gone. He just he disappeared. Did he despawn? He despawned. What the heck? Such bullcrap. Alright, we're out of here. So, thank you for watching today's episode of Fear Mobs. I hope you enjoyed. Oh, another one. We got another. Oh, wow. Look at him sprint. It's just because of the lag spikes. Oh, God. Ugh. Ow. I'll see you guys later. Ow. Right through that mark At last I found me some diamonds Oh, I'm so happy I could ride a pig